back everybody to ride four. We've got the Japan Thousand Cup. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss a video as it drops. <sighs> so, excuse me, we are going to look at a new Suzuki GSXR 1000. Don't see the difference between that one and that one. It's got an extra two points. Its acceleration's better. Its top speed's not as good. Its handling's supposed to be better as well. But we're going to go with the Axstar colour, I think. So I do like the look of the Axstar colour. Obviously, we will do our custom livery as well. Oh, this got this has got the livery anyway. anyway. Okay. In which case, we'll buy the uh, we'll buy the more acceleration one. I love the look of the Suzuki. Big, big, big Suzuki fan. If you hadn't a guest on the channel, we always tried to ride the Suzukis first. So the first thing we need to do is set up the upgrades as we get engine kit 2. We go for the exhausts. Oh, I don't know which exhaust to get though. Uh, oh, it's got to be a Yoshi pipe. Got to have a Yoshi pipe on a Suzuki, surely. Yeah. I like the end cow. I like the look of that. Brake kit one, brake kit two. Uh, suspension, racing suspension. Change the chain. Should we paint it? What colour paint should we go for? Let's go for a gold. We'll go for a gold. Uh, rims. Uh, what sort of rims? Uh, boosts. We'll go for boost. We're not going to change the colour. Battle Axe V2s, of course. Remove the mirrors. Remove the plate indicators. Now we just got to do our custom livery. Custom livery done. She is looking good and nice and tidy. Obviously, we are supporting the MotoGP. Uh, Axstar Monster Energy Racing Team for 2021. So now that our bike is sorted, we're going to go to Japan. We're going to go to Shugo on board the GSXR 1000 that we've just upgraded. We've done the custom livery. We are all ready to go. We've got the fast course for the Shugo, which I think that means it hasn't got the little kink in the uh, in the last corner. It's just the big sweeping corner. So, let's change the setup. I don't know what I'm doing there. That's completely wrong. Uh, that one. That one. Wait, do I have that there? No, I don't, do I? I normally have it like that. And then, not down. There we go. That's better. And that one. Right, transmission. We're going to go for something along those lines, maybe? 212, though. Go for that, I think. So we've still got the top end down the main straight a little bit. Oh, that's better though. Go for that. So, that's done. Race settings we don't need to change. Tire settings soft. With that, let's get on to track. We've got our custom livery. We've got a number on the front now as well. Engine braking two, alley wheeling two. Off we go. And our traction control is two. Shoot off the start line, get onto the brake. Might go wide, no, we didn't. Managed to pull it in on the brake again. Out of turn two. Oh, where they? Onto the brakes, tipping it into the left, hairpin curve. Nearly a second in front of the field already. Across the curve, I thought I nearly clipped that fat curve there. That would have sent us onto the ground. Oh, I'm going to go wide. Oh, on the grass. Get off of that. Oh dear, going to go wide again there. Okay, so we've got 92 front, 88 rear. Percentage already. Heavy on braking. We're going to go a little bit wide, not too wide. Braking into the left. Try and get as close to the curb as possible. On to the brake. This is the quick corner, is it not? Yes, it is. About to come off the accelerator there. We were going a bit wide. Going to go wide again. Whoa! 
That was very close. Let's try and catch back up to first place. Made a few mistakes there into the final corner. As we go round out of turn two, turn it left of turn three. We're starting to pull a bit of time back to first place. Oh, there they've gone wide, they've gone down. I don't know what happened there, he just went straight on. We'll take the nice easy overtake for back up to first place though. Our gap's now at 1.5, so it's unfortunate that he went down. That could have been quite a, bit, quite a bit of a battle, I think. Up by 5.3 seconds. Well, of course, that's because it was our standing lap. Brakes, turn it in left, bit of curb on the outside. Still gap at 1.5, so that's good. Don't make the mistake coming out of this corner again, would be nice. Much better out of there. Front tyre looks quite hot. 65%, rear tyres at 60%. We're about halfway through-ish. See where it is about halfway through the lap. Tyres should be alright there. Nicely done out of turn three. Breaking into turn four. Up the hill. Bring it left. Flick it right. Oh! Oh, I'm surprised we didn't go down there. We did pick up a penalty, but... We make a lot of time through there. We're at 2.3 seconds now. I was going to say 2.9, then it changed to 3. So we make a lot of time through that little, uh, the first sector. The first part of the second sector. Onto the brakes for turn 8. Much better line through there. Got the brake in perfect then. Breaks again, turn 10. We're still up on time, we're nearly gaining a second on this lap. Oh dear, oh dear. There's that second one. They're still quite far behind us. We lost point two in there with that last corner. Turn two. Flick it left for turn three. Onto the brakes. We're oh, gonna go back wide. Oh dear. Lift on another penalty there. Onto the brakes, bringing it in for turn six. Nice and easy on the acceleration. Went a little bit wide out of the corner there. Round turn seven. To the back straight, tyres look good, bikes looking good. Into turn eight. Nice and easy on the acceleration. Miles in front of the rest of the field. 3.7 seconds now the gap. And we're still losing time, so we could have gone even quicker. Easy through here this time. Don't want to keep going wide on that final corner. Onto the brakes, nice and easy for turn one. Final lap, 3.7 seconds in front. Or, oh, we don't have to push. Get off that curb. Next thing I'll be in the grass. Round a flip flop. Or S shaped curve, sorry. As it tells me at the bottom of the screen. 
door, gonna go wide through turn seven. Onto the brakes. Nearly a second under our time. Turn nine. Oh, I thought we were going to get the bumpy bit of the curve there. Rear wheel sliding out of turn 10. Now we've got the long turn 11. With 4.2 seconds in front of the, of the rest of the field. Got a proper wheelie. A very crap wheelie, but we popped the wheelie. We had the time. So we got our first race win of all the GSXR 1000. Uh, we got the fastest lap of the race, that's not a surprise. Considering we were nearly four seconds in front. Got a level up. Level 50 now. And we got the second race at Okiyama International Circuit. The full circuit. Again, on board the 1000 GSXR. I don't know why that when you look at the when you look at the bike there, all of the uh, sort of labels and my vinyls and the livery is almost back to front. All the numbers and all the logos and everything. But it's a bit weird when you jump into the race. They're not, so it's very strange. So bike set up. We're going to keep that as normal. I think. Don't need to change any of that. Uh, race setting, still on very hard. Riding aids, stay the same. Front soft. Go for the race, I think. Let's go for it. So yeah, see that? As you can see, all of the labels are right the right way now. Very odd. So, go. Straight off the line. Straight past the whole grid. It's a dark race, so it should be colder, which it is slightly. Onto the race turn two. Flick it left, flick it right. Quite quick through there. Rear end wanted to skip out on us then as well. We're going to go wide now. Ooh, a bit wide on the exit. Onto the brakes. Heavy onto the brakes. Gonna go wide, I think. Oh, not just. Managed to pull that in for turn five. Turn six. Through turn seven. Onto the brakes under the bridge. Slightly wide. This is normally my uh, my least strongest part of this circuit. As we can see, the headlight and the light light behind us. We should pull away down this straight then. Onto the brakes again. Under the Castrol Bridge. Turn it left for turn two. Cap to nearly 0.6. Go through here. Hopefully not skip out the back ends. We can get the braking done this time. And we do. That's much better line through there as well. We went slightly wide last time. to the brakes, nearly 170 miles an hour down that straight there. We'll go a bit wide out of turn six. Through turn seven. Nearly a second in front now, rear end sliding out on the acceleration there. It's slightly wide but not too bad. Turn 10, very wide. Onto the 
makes the final corner. Down the main straight, past the paddock. And across the line, start lap three. 4.8 seconds up. That was obviously our starting lap. Keep it left for turn two. Bring it out wide, give you the most uh, power down through this corner. Oh, we got the back end squealing. That's going to send us wide. Very wide here. Oh, I don't thought I was going to down then. I thought we were going to go down. On to the rakes. We nearly lost half a second there. Round turn five. Through the dodgy turn six. A little bit left for turn seven. He's on the acceleration. That back end keeps squealing out. Turn nine. Last corner. Shoot out of there. Use a bit of the curve on exit. Start lap four. Point seven down on our time. That's not ideal. Very wide out of turn one. Down to turn two. Up over the S's. That's much better through there. Let's hope we don't go wide into turn four. Nope, we did well. We had the acceleration. Rear tyres at 40%. Front tyres at 47%. Breaks with two hundredths of a second down. Turn six, nearly cut that. That's nearly back to a second. So we can keep pushing. Still down by point two on our time, though. That's more to do with tyre grip than it is much else. We need a lot of time to the AI through this sector though. To point four by the final corner. We go across the line. Down by point two on our fastest lap. Still wide into turn one. To the brakes, turn two. Keeping it pinned, we come left and then right. Oh, we're up on our time. Can we keep it? Can the last lap be the our fastest lap? Caps to point eight. Nope, we lost time through there. I thought we might have done. Done through turn four. Oh, that was close, turn five. That would have lost us some time. We're not going to do our quickest lap of the race now, are we? Now we're turn seven. I reckon we'll be down by about point three. Yeah, point three, full set. Onto the brakes. Oh, I nearly cut that corner as well. Had to sit up slightly then in that corner. Oh, rear end sliding out. Last corner of the last lap, and out, point two the gap, and that'll be fine. They won't drag us to the end of the line, we cross the line, first place, second race. Best lap of 127.8. I feel that could have been beaten, but whether it was or not is yet to be seen. It was a 127.4, and it was on board a Suzuki GSX-R as well. Okay. It's what it is. We didn't get the quickest lap of the race.
but we did get the race win around Okiyama International Circuit. Don't know why I lose so much time through Sector 2. I seem to always lose time through Sector 2. We had a 0.3 gap behind. We got first position, we got those 25 vital points for our Japanese Thousand Cup. Did we get the level up? We did. We got, nearly got two level ups. We're level 51 now. We've got 69 points left until we get to level 52. So we should definitely get that in the next race. Which is also our final race. So we just need 25 points to get the uh, to get the 75 points in full. We're back on board the Suzuki. We are at Suzuka Motorcycle GP Circuit. And it's wet. Great. This could be interesting. We've not done a wet race yet. So, let's see how we get on. Two, one, go. Okay, we didn't overtake the whole field getting off the line like we normally do. He had the rear wheels squeaking out there. Oh, we've collected him. Sorry about that. That's going to send us wide. Lucky we didn't take him down. And we didn't go down either. Around the outside. Gets us on the inside for this corner. The snake. Oh, get off the curb. Thought we were going to go on the curb then. Dunlop curve onto the brakes. Very weird corner this one. Easy to drop the front end on this corner. Out there under the bridge. Up round the right hander uh, just before you get to the left hand hairpin. A bit early on the acceleration there, but no, oh, we got the little chicane, have we? Sometimes it's just straight on. Oh, we made a lot of time up through that chicane. I thought we were going to, uh, thought we were going to collect it. the other rider then onto the brakes. Oh, sliding it in there. Oh, get off the curb. Not going to be on the curb. The curb's going to be wet. Out there, you get a little bit of a wobble. Nicely done through there, made up a lot of time. Onto the brakes, we're going to get it stopped. No, we're not. Going to pick up the penalty. Okay, so across the line, lap one. Same against five laps, we're at 1.5 seconds in front now. After struggling to be able to get in front, mind you we did make the mistake in the first lap, nearly uh, nearly take down the rider in front of us after we hit him in the rear wheel. Through the snake again, oh that's a bit wide. That compromise our corner speed for this one. Lost us some time through that. Easy through there on the uh, when you're on the acceleration of full tilt there in the wet. Oh, get off the curb. Oh my! Thought we were going to get on the grass there, and that would have uh, that would have flicked the rear wheel round. Right round the left hand hairpin. Nicely done, into the chicane. Made a lot of time up in this chicane last time. And we don't have a rider in front of us that we have to worry about hitting either, so we should make even more time on the rider behind. Which we have, gaps are 1.5, so that's good. Onto the brakes, left hander. Keep 
moving slightly on the acceleration through these two corners. Keep an eye out for the bump around here somewhere. There it is. Up by 1.4 seconds to our time at the moment. As we go onto the brakes, can we get it stopped this time? Just. Gaps now at 2.7. Wow. We come down onto the main straight. Across the line, starting at 3 at 1.5 seconds quicker. Gaps now 2.8. On to the brakes. Oh, I nearly had the rear wheel off the ground there. Round turn 2. And in to start the S's again, or the snake. Slow. On to the brakes. Nicely done through there, then. That was good. Round the little hairpin. Then left through the chicane. Always main time up through there, so that's good. And on to the left hand. Keep it in, keep it in. A little bit of braking, or oh, we're going to go wide. Carrying too much speed into that corner. Bump. Onto the brakes, a little bit more braking than normal through there, but we're 3.6 seconds in front now. Wow! Onto the brakes for the final chicane. We're not going to get it stopped. We're going to go straight on. Whoa! Don't know how we managed to get that stopped. Cross the line. Start lap four. 4.4 seconds in front now. Wow! We were a second slower on that lap. That was a different approach to turn two. Let us slow down a bit there. Okay, start the snake. We go left, then we go right. We go up and left. And then flick it right again. Flick it left one more time for a big, long, sweeping left hand of this. Nicely done onto the brakes. And again. Through the left hand hairpin. Go. Nice and easy on the acceleration out of here. Rear wheel showing a bit of wear, it's 29%, so we've still got another lap to do yet. Front tyres okay. Have to be slightly cautious to serve that rear tyre a little bit. easy through here, we went wide through there last time. Oh! That wasn't quite what we had in mind. Over the little bump. Down onto the very quick left hander. Onto the brakes, let's get it stopped. Get it stopped, get it stopped, get it stopped. Oh dear, no we didn't. 
then you've got a second penalty for just that corner. But then the gap is at 5.4, so I don't think there's going to be a problem with penalty. 3.5 seconds down on that lap. That was not a very good lap for us. Made a couple of mistakes there. Around to turn two. And out for the final time as we started the final lap. Through the S's. Or the snake. We'll go with the snake. Obviously, because that's what it's actually called. Left hander, all easy. Nearly clicked the curb there. To the left, up the hill. Keep it left, keep it left. Start sitting the bike up. Just bring it into right hander. On for the brakes. Oh, the grass. Get off the grass. On to the brakes for left hand hairpin. A bit wide through there. 19% grip on the rear tyre. Not ideal. Nicely done through the chicane, Nate. Right, onto the brakes. Double left hand. Using the acceleration through here this time. We don't want to go onto the grass like we did last time, over the bump. Not as much of a bump this time, so we weren't carrying as much speed. Oh, get off that kerb. Final corner, brake a lot earlier. Still never, still didn't nearly make it. But we made it anyway. We've got a second penalty, gaps at 5.5. 5.3, so I don't think that was going to be a problem at all. We crossed the line for our third victory of the cup. All three races, all three victories, our best lap time of a 2.11.4. And we got the best lap of the race as well, so that's cool. We were second to another Suzuki. We got the 25 points. We should most definitely get a level up for that. Oh, we got two level ups for that, and now level 53. So if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the thumbs up, and the subscribe, don't forget the notification bell, and I shall see you all in the next video.